Tip number one. Local is not about the location, it's about what interests people that live in that location. We really should not concentrate on what's happening on the next street, but we should concentrate what, on what interests people that live on that street. Because if you write only about what's happening on the street, you are making the world for those people uh, small and boring. And, and it will consist of uh, petty crime, communal service problems, and occasional um, amateur concerts. That's not really the world you really want to live in. They live in a much bigger world. Think about it. Tip number two. Uh, if you make uh, media for humans, bring in humans. Uh, and when I say human being, I mean individuals, people that um, your reader would uh, associate himself or herself with. Um, it's important because uh, what makes people attached to your product is emotion, emotional experience, and people can experience emotions only towards other people or because of other people. So bring in people. You probably have heard of long reads. Everyone says that it's something that is trendy, that people want to read that, that's what will make your audience more attached to your publication. That's not quite true. What people really need is long feels, not long reads. In that sense, a shorter story can be a long feel. It can uh, produce an emotional impact that will last. But of course, it's very likely that if you have a more space and more tools to use, then you can uh, make a better um, uh, content, and better content can produce a more lasting emotional effect. Tip number four, choose the right formats. When you come to train station, you need to find the schedule of departures and arrivals of trains. And uh, what you're looking for really is a table. That's what you expect to find. You don't expect it to be a poem or a song. But very often when journalists write, they don't think what kind of uh, format would uh, fit best the uh, consumer uh, expectations. We just write texts with the beginning and the end. Tip number five, know the focus of your story. Before you sit and write, think really well why your reader would care about your story. If you can put that in one sentence, then you're probably okay. If you cannot, probably you're not ready to write your story. Then try to imagine that you're talking to your friend and uh, start your phrase with the word imagine. Like, imagine they're going to build a new metro station in our neighborhood. Mm, that sounds like a good story. Or imagine they're going to increase gas prices by 0.2 percent. That doesn't really tell much to me. So if the phrase sounds awkward, that's probably um, an indicator that you don't know yet what to write about. 